What's going on, squad gang? It's your boy, the uncrowned otaku back on my throne. No, but seriously, I'm trying this one more time. I'm, I'm sitting down for a video, and I don't know how I feel about it. I think, like, standing up, I get more energy out of it. But it, I'm not going to lie, it's comfortable to be sitting. Anyways, latest chapter of Bleach came out, and if y'all know me, you already know. I haven't liked the way Bleach has been playing itself out in the manga lately. The last, like, 20, 30... Who am I kidding? The last 50 chapters have been pure trash, in my opinion. But to this one, today, today, this just got real. It just got real. I'm not kidding you. Like, it only took us 200 and some odd... Is it even 200? It might be... Let's say 200. 200 and some odd chapters for Kyoraku to unleash his Bond Kai. For those who don't know who Kyoraku is, it's the dude who usually wears like the pink little cape with the with the, the, the straw hat on and the eye patch. Twin blades. Yo, first of all, my man was laying the law down when he was fighting dude. You know, little sniper. I don't know. I don't even remember what his power is. Axel or something? I don't know. Z? I don't... Screw it all. Axis. I'm pretty sure it's the Axis. But screw all that noise. His uh, Sheikau is actually pretty powerful. It makes... Kids games coming to reality. So we see that ain't working. So he's literally escaping this dude who's like, I can sure shot anything. So he takes a few hits. You see him kind of laid out, but he's still dodging. So he literally goes back to where all the Shinigami first arrived at the Quincy place, aka Soul King's Palace, which is now the Quincy home base. Anyways, he goes all the way back there and he's like, okay. I think Nanao and everybody else is far away enough so that I can use my trump card, my last resort. Bunkai. And we see, like, he stabs his swords into the ground and there's, like, a bunch of shadowy hands coming out. What does that even mean? Somebody comment down below and tell me what his Bunkai is going to do. And it, why is it so disastrous and powerful that it has to be a last resort? I'm thinking. I'm thinking. And this is me. I'm just thinking out loud right now. It's like those shadow hands are going to be like part of his hands. And whatever gets cut kind of affects him. If Let me correlate this for y'all. Those shadow hands would be like G Gundam. The pilots in G Gundam, whatever happened to their Gundam, they would literally fill through the suit. I'm thinking that's probably the same thing. He gets massive hands, shadow abilities, sneak attacks, all kinds of crap like that. But whatever happens to those hands happens to him. Which means 9 times out of 10 he could die using his Bankai and take some damage. Now, even though I'm saying that, I don't think that's the limit of his Bankai, because that would seem like a pretty weak Bankai in comparison to everything else we've seen so far. So, it's something with Shadow Hands. It's probably going to be more along the lines of Shadow Hands plus something else, because, you know, he has two blades, two spirits. So, it stands to reason his Bankai is going to have two powers. Anyways, I'm just excited to see the new Captain Commander use his Bankai this quickly. Because it took Gen Yusai, if we're counting seasons, like, it took him, like, what, 13 seasons to use his? He's dead. You know, hey, R.I.P. 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 My man killed the whole club. But it took him, like, 13 seasons. At least we finally get to see Kyoraku use his. Ukitake, I don't think he ever used his before he gave his power up to the Soul King's left arm. I wish I could have saw his because I bet he was mad powerful, too. Or did he use this? I don't think he ever really used it. Don't quote me on that. Somebody's going to correct me, I promise you. Anyways, Bankai happened, and that was the end of the chapter. Now, my only issue here is, we still don't know what's going on with Ichigo and his squad. That's all up in the air. But that Bankai happens. Renji and his squad are about to fight the little Thor-looking wrestler dude. Can't wait to see that fight go down, because my man uh, Shinji. Shinji the visor dude. That's going to be live because, you know, his Bankai turns, like, the world upside down and your reflexes up is down, left is right. You hit me, you're hitting backwards. That's going to be live. I can't wait to see the Visors back in action, too, but that's probably going to be, like, 20 chapters down the line. Let's see. Anything else important happen? No, I don't think so. Fighting Bankais. Another fight about to start. No sign of Ichigo. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Is Ichigo's dad going to make an appearance? He better make an appearance. This is the fight he's been waiting for. I hope Ichigo's dad appears somewhere. But until then, comment down below. What y'all think of this chapter of Bleach? Like it? Love it? 
Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Uncrowned Otaku because I give out free kisses to all my subscribers. Be easy, y'all. I'm out. The throne is vacant.